Welcome back to a new video of Android Tutorials and in this video I am going to finally make a profile screen and catch the data from our Google sign in. Uh, in last week I was not able to give a video because of some technical issue but now our video will be continue. So let's begin with our social media application and if you have any doubt about any other application also so you can uh, comment me I will make the video on that particular application so our upcoming playlist will be on e-commerce application so now completing our social media application I am going to design the profile screen like this so here I have very basic things some designs uh, text views image views and I will implement the functions to get all the data from Google that they had provided while authentication and show it in here when user click on sign out then we will move back to main activity so first you have to create a new activity by clicking on your package name so when you click on your package name login.demo so here you will find new activity and move to empty activity here you have to write your profile activity or whatever name you want to give so I had closed it because I had already made that and then you have to write one code like this or I will provide you the complete source code of this social media UI kit in the description after some days so here you can see all these settings we have one vector like this so we will use this plus you have to make new drawable by right clicking on drawable folder and a new drawable resource file here you have to give whatever name you want to like and uh, make the root element of type shape and uh, make the shape rectangular adds 30 dp corner and color of even f6 f4 or whatever is your choice so finally moving and uh, designing our profile screen of social media application here I had first added my image that is profile main background with this so here you can see content description is app name its width will be match parent height will be web content and a scale type is center crop after add given the source and added the constraints then we have one back button here so to add this back button we have to click on drawable new vector assets and here you will find the icons so click on this clip art and here you have to search for back then you will get that backside arrow so I am cancelling it now and after implementing then you have to give appropriate paddings and margins so you will get this back button as well and uh, remember to give its id profile back and uh, we will add an action on this button next I have circular image view so to make the image circular I had used the card view many of you are using the third party libraries but I recommend you to use this card view because this will consume a less space in our Android device and uh, this will also decrease the size of an application which make more installs now in our card view I had made uh, its uh, margin top of 80 dp and card corner radius is 50 dp card elevation is 2 dp and appropriate constraints in that add a image view with and height will be match parent and scale type will be center crop afterwards i had made these two text views and copied and change its id like this so for that purpose you can see the complete code for name text and uh, our final name text so here I had given 
the two tags so first is here name tags which you can see here this is code for this tags and another for this and I had also added this tags as a username you can see it here uh, I will provide you the full source code in the description so make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when I post a new video after I have one sign out button and uh, given its background that we had made sign out background and given font family and uh, in all this I had just added some bolts and uh, some font family paddings and margin nothing more than that after I had finished my profile activity now it's time to make a path to receive this profile activity and uh, another one is to get the data that Google had provided via authentication so to make a path I had used our mauth that I had created previously so here instead of that toast message I had used intent intent is equal to new intent and main activity dot this to profile activity dot class then start our activity and instantly finish this main activity so when user click on back button then they will not get the main activity again instead this application will close so this was the second time but uh, what if a uh, user is first time so for that when we complete our firebase auth with google method in here when task is successful then we will start a new intent so afterwards we will have our user sign in now to convert the profile image into an image view we had used the glide library so this is the must for converting a link into an image in android studio so you have to add this both dependencies and uh, now moving to profile activity and here you can see I have two image view first is back button and uh, second is profile image then we have four text view username name email and sign out then with the firebase user we will get auth get instance from firebase authentication and uh, getting current user so finally we have to cast all that by find view by ids and uh, add set on click listener in back button so here i had written on back press method but uh, for our user user image i had used glide with this activity load user dot get photo url with this get photo url we will get the image link and after we will paste it in profile image and similarly i had get the text views by get display name and get email now one method that name is sign out so for that sign out we have to get firebase auth dot get instance dot sign out with this we will sign out the user but uh, to finally sign out we have to move back to our main activity so here we will have no signing so the user will show the email id list so here we had started a new intent with it shown and toast so this was the social media application login function in android studio if you enjoyed this video then please make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you can receive the notification when i publish new video and uh, thanks for watching this android tutorial also don't forget to like and share this android tutorial thanks for watching android tutorials